Hello learners, welcome to the video. In the previous chapter, we have learnt about different directions that include east, west, north, south and instruments that help in locating different areas. But what actually symbols are? Well, symbols are small images on a map that reflect different characteristics to appear like what it represents. A symbol is always drawn. A triangular shape, for example, is sometimes used to represent a mountain. Well, all symbols for a map are also gathered together for reference in a map key. In this video, we are going to know what are the symbols that are used in maps, map key purpose, conventional symbols and different colors. Now, the map key is often a box from where the symbols are organized. The symbols are often only shown in a more free form way without a box across them. Learners, can you tell me what is the purpose of symbols? No? Okay, don't worry, I'll tell you. Symbol is a significant component of the map as well. It is not possible to represent something or any entity on paper. Symbols are used for this purpose. The symbols include letters, colors, shades, photographs, lines, etc. Learners, can you tell me what conventional symbols are? No? Okay, don't worry, I'll tell you. Maps have a common language that all can understand. In relation to the use of these symbols, there is an international agreement. These are called symbols that are conventional. Learners, can you tell me which color is used for water bodies? Yes, you are right if your answer is blue. For the same reason, different colors are used. Blue is used, for instance, to indicate uh, water bodies, brown for mountains, yellow for plateaus, and green for plains. Learners, can you tell me about one benefit of these symbols? No? Okay, don't worry, I'll tell you. Applying symbols provide you a number of benefits. They give a lot of information in a limited space. It is easy to draw and read maps with symbols. The actual shape and scale of various features such as uh, houses, highways, bridges, trees, railroad lines or a well cannot be drawn on a map. So, use some letters, shades, colors, pictures and lines to display them. In a limited space, these symbols offer a lot of detail. Learners, can you now tell me how can maps be easily drawn with the help of what? Yes, you are right, with the help of symbols. Maps can be drawn quickly and are easy to read with the use of these symbols. Maps have a common language that all can understand. If you do not understand the language of a region and thus cannot ask anyone for directions, with the aid of these symbols, you can gather information from maps. In maps, symbols are used to represent or signify actual objects or features. Maps are a smaller representation of the globe. So, symbols are used to ensure that a person reads a map easily when correlating it with the real world. Learners, can you tell me about when every function is difficult? What is the easy way of using maps? Yes, you are right. It is the map symbols. On a map, it is difficult to mark every single function in words. So, we use map symbols. A legend or key accompanies any map. Drawings, letters, lines, condensed words or colored areas can be such symbols. Now it is the time to explore. Can you think what mistakes can students do while learning about different symbols used in maps? In this video, we have learned the symbols used in maps that include map key, purpose, conventional symbols, different colors. In the next video, we will learn about different types of maps. I'll take your leave. Till then, bye. Stay happy.